we've only had access to the internet for how long, right? And so we're still learning how to use it. We're behind in learning how to use it because it's not like we're getting the technologies as they're coming out, right? One of the things that I used to tell people um, about coming out is that it's not like you come out and then you get like a manual of all things queer. You don't just suddenly know all the things gay, right? There's still a learning curve. And so there's still a lot of intentional work that you have to do in that learning curve. As a teacher, I can tell you that most of us are probably not doing that. Nobody is going and doing extra reading just because. You're not doing it. You're not doing your homework. You don't want to do that. So you're definitely not going to do extra work, right? We're not. And so to, to think that just because something exists that we're using it or that it's accessible to us, it, those, it's not mutually exclusive. It doesn't work that way. It's really, it's really important for us to encourage people to participate um, in the, the knowledge acquisition, right? It's, it's pertinent for us to go and do the extra reading, to go in and seek the information, right? Like we don't know a lot of our own history and that's because we were told we didn't have any. So if you were told you didn't have any history, why would you go look for something that you don't think exists, right? You wouldn't. So we have to we have to be the ones who go and do the intentional research and then contribute to that as well, because we are also a history in the making. Somebody is going to need to read about us 20, 30, 40 years from now, 100 years from now, 200 years from now, because we are the evidence of our existence today. So the marks that we're leaving is history in the making. So of course we have history. We are it. Yeah, it's a, it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous to not know your own history. Um, and it's it's not to say that you can even ever be a, a full expert in it either. But to know nothing, right? To know nothing means that somebody who does, they can use that information against you. So there's a there's a classic phrase, there's a classic saying that kind of floats throughout the Africana Studies Department. Uh, if you want to hide something from a Negro, you put it in a book. It's the same type of idea because the idea is that not only are Black people not going to read, but historically, we weren't first taught to read either, right? The idea was to hide things literally in books because the physical idea of you reading was not a possibility. So what happens then? All of the information that gets disseminated about you, you can't combat. Whatever is written down there, that is who you're going to be to the people 100 years from now, 200 years from now, those are the stories that will remain. It's okay for us to know the truth about ourselves, absolutely, but we have to record it too because we can't allow other people to continue recording it for us. Look what that has done so far. Look what it's done. The fact that we think that we are a new species when we're not. Queer people have existed for the entirety of human existence. We have to be in charge of recording our own history. I guarantee you that everything else out there is in charge of recording its own history because we sure can't be trusted to do it. We can't be trusted to save our own planet. We can't be trusted to be kind to people just because. It's free to be kind to people and we can't do that. We can have wars and still find time to be racist. Make it make sense. So, take charge. We have to take charge of ourselves. This is what the lyric and love truth means, that I am the rules for how the world will love me back. That means I'm setting the standard. I'm, I'm recording. I am the storyteller. I'm going to tell the world who I am because I'm not gonna trust other people who have shown me time and time and time again that they are not capable of it, that they're not willing to tell my story adequately or accurately. No, it's on us. <laughs>